What up y'all, this is Ralph Romeo from VR Kicks and this is how I shot the Air Max 90 infrared. Let's get it. Going into the shoot, I knew how important this pair of Air Maxes was to all sneakerheads. 2020 marked the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 3, AKA the Air Max 90. With retros and variations releasing throughout the years, this 2020 pair has been said to be as closest to the OG as possible especially when it came down to the right shade of infrared, which I would say is the most important color to Nike's history. This model and this colorway is arguably one of the greatest sneakers of all time, so I definitely had to do something cool with the product shots. I wanted to keep the shots vibrant and bright to match the whole Air Max 3 vibe, so I grabbed a red backdrop and red balloons to play on the air aspect of the sneaker. I went ahead and set up the backdrop and blew up all the balloons. I'm gonna need to buy a pump next time because it's taking so much time and breath. <sighs> I just read online that if you stretch it out before you blow into it, it makes it a lot easier. So shout out to Google balloon tips. Unfortunately, backdrops and balloons don't come in this infrared color. It kind of shows you how unique infrared actually is. It's like a vibrant pink, bright red, orange. Can't really describe it. So I'm gonna have to edit it in the photos. So once all the balloons are inflated, I'm gonna try to tape them down to the paper so they don't move around. Um, this might not work because the shoes might be too heavy, but it's worth a shot. For my main source of light, I just used this video LED light to light at the main part of the sneaker on the left side. Nothing too crazy. And now the hardest part of the setup, balancing the sneakers onto the balloons. Once I got that down, I went straight to shooting, very carefully. To enhance the edit, I really wanted to try out this animation that I had in mind. Since the exposed air bubble is inspired by the Centre Pompidou, which is a transparent building in Paris that's known for having an exposed staircase, I cut out the shape of the stairs into the Air Max to make a transition out of it. Following the transition, I masked out the sneaker to make it look like it was floating and then popping like a balloon actually would. So then I combined a sketch of mine and then a paper overlay to make it all flow together. Here it is. I hope y'all enjoyed that little behind the scenes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to BR Kicks for more content. And yeah, comment down below what other sneakers you wanna see me shoot next. I was thinking some Jordan ones, maybe those new Volt Golds or some Chicago's or maybe even a pair of Dior's. But yeah, let me know and until next time, peace.